Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I have another drugstore haul. Chemist Warehouse has just been having the best sales and I've gone back a few times, just picked up a few little things. There's also been some new releases from e.l.f. and I have finally got some products here from Emco Beauty that I want to test out. So if you want to see everything I picked up, then stay tuned. And I do have a few other drugstore hauls that I will link down below if you want to go watch. Okay, let's start out with the e.l.f. products because I am the most excited about these. So first up, we have the new Hydrating Camo Concealer. Oh, oh my gosh. Super excited for these. I absolutely loved the other one. I've got it right here, the 16 hour Camo Concealer. They came in super, super fair shades, absolutely crazy full coverage, super long lasting and just leaves the under eyes looking flawless. But a lot of people found the Camo Concealer to be a little bit drying. So I know that so many people are excited for the hydrating version. So I picked up two shades. I have Light Ivory and Fair Beige. I didn't go too light because I'm not really into that really highlighted under eye look anymore. I do prefer something that kind of matches my skin tone. So I'm so excited to dip into these and I will definitely do a full review. Next from e.l.f. I picked up one of their bite size eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> these are so mini, they are super cute. Now I would have never gone for an e.l.f. eyeshadow, I just, it is a more affordable brand and I didn't think their shadows would be any good, but I have seen Jessica Braun rave about these for months now. On the e.l.f. website, the Australian one, they were out of stock for a while, but they finally come back in stock. So I picked up one to try. This is in the shade Cream and Sugar. So I've got a bit of a dark brown, two shimmers and a light peach, quite a neutral you know, neutral vibe, which I'm digging. But yeah, I am so excited to try this and if they are as good as I hear they are, I'll definitely pick up a few more because they've got some really cute little color combinations. And then I picked up these liquid glitter eyeshadows. So I'm assuming they're similar to the Stila liquid eyeshadows. I don't know, like I haven't heard much about them, so I don't know if the quality is there, but they were only around $10. I did pick one up from Kmart and one up from the e.l.f. website. So this shade here is called Flirty Birdie. And then this shade is called Dirty Martini. Oh my God, I freaking love that. Next, I picked up two backup items. The first one is this eyeliner by Rimmel. It does have one of those annoying bloody security stickers on it but I'm pretty sure it's called the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, and it's just a wind-up eyeliner. I have the brown shade, and I like to use this for tight lining, so I've got it on today. Because my eyelashes are very light and blonde, sometimes when I put mascara on, they just look a little bit gappy, so putting an eyeliner in the tight line there just kind of fills it in and I don't know, it just looks better. So this has been one of my favorite eyeliners for years. I also love the black, but the brown is really nice just for more like a toned down kind of natural looking look. <laughs> and then I picked up the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara, and this one is also in the brown shade. This mascara, I don't know, the black one I like, hang on, that's not it. That's the black one. You silly bugger. This is the brown one. It's brown packaging. <laughs> so the black one, as I was saying, I, I don't know if it's just old, but it's a little bit clumpy. Whereas the brown one is absolutely amazing. Maybe just because it's new, that could be, that could be the issue, but it just lengthens, it separates, volumizes. It does everything I want in a mascara. And again, with the brown shade, I just like using a brown when I'm going for more of a natural look or I don't want like a really harsh look. I don't know how to explain it, but if, you've, if you're fair like me or you prefer more natural makeup looks, try a brown mascara because, oh, amazing. 
Next, I picked up the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Primer, and this is the Perfecting and Smoothing. There are three in the range. Revlon has really been coming out with some products that are catching my eye. Revlon was never a brand for me that I was like, oh my God, what have they released? It felt like more of a brand for middle-aged women. It's been around for a really long time. They never really released anything like interesting or like super exciting. But recently, the highlighter that I showed in my last haul, and now these primers, like I'm like, okay, Revlon, I see you stepping up your game. So anyway, this, as I said, is a perfecting and smoothing primer. It's infused with vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid. I have only tried it out once. It is like a gel consistency. I do need to keep testing it out, but I will definitely show that in an upcoming video. And then this product I was so bloody excited for. I have been searching Priceline for so long to find this. It was on the website, but I couldn't find it in any stores. So I finally just did a click and collect, but it is the Maybelline Glass Spray. Oh my goodness. So this is a finishing spray that is meant to leave a hydrated and dewy look. Okay, so. Let me see if it's, yeah. I think I need to take this back, unfortunately, because it worked the first couple times. And then all of a sudden the sprayer just spazzed out and now it's just coming out. Oh, okay. So it can't make up its mind. For a while there, it was just coming out in like one straight line. Like I was mid spraying my face and then it was like, <sighs> but just then, yeah, I don't know, it's it's not spraying as it should. Like it's still got quite a, like it shoots at me, you know? Where it didn't do that at first. If you know how to fix that, just tell me because I don't know, like in Australia, you can't take makeup back. So I don't know if I would be able to get a replacement. I didn't really get to test it out long enough before the sprayer stuffed up to see if it really does give you that nice, dewy, hydrated look. I am absolutely obsessed with this spray here by L'Oreal, the Shake and Glow, which leaves the most gorgeous, luminous finish. So I was hoping for the same thing with this spray, but I'll have to get back to you on that one. If you've tried this out, let me know your thoughts. And then also from Priceline, I saw that Savvy released this Cream Duo Cheek product. So up the top here, we've got a cream highlighter and then down the bottom is the cream blush, which I absolutely love. I rave about it all the time here on my channel. So I am super excited to dip into the highlighter. It's like a nice pale gold, like a champagne. It looks so pretty. And if it's as good as the cream blush, then it's going to be freaking amazing. And then lastly, I have two products here from Enco Beauty. So I picked these up from Woolworths. I've seen so many people talking about them on Instagram lately. I just had to check them out. And they do a lot of 40 or like 30 to 40% off sales. So that is when I picked up these two products. Firstly, I have the Extend Lash Mascara. And this is a tubing mascara. Again, Jessica Braun got me onto wanting to try out a tubing mascara. So what it does, let me read here. The formula creates water resistant tubes around each and every lash for maximum length, definition and hold. So it says that it won't flake or smudge. It's water resistant, has an ultra black glossy finish. It's buildable um, and it slides off with water. Like, doesn't that sound interesting? Can you just imagine like really zooming in on your lashes and seeing a tube around them? I don't know if I'm just envisioning some like wacky thing, but <laughs> I've heard really good things about this and I'm super excited to try it. And then I also picked up the cheek and lip tint and this is in the shade Tango. So it does look quite like orange here, but this strip does look a little bit more coral. So you can use this as a lip stain or a blush. As you would know, I have been so into cream blushes lately. So I'm really excited to dip into this. Let me see what it says here. Easily blendable, a little goes a long way, complements natural skin tones and is quick drying and long wearing. Seeing all this makeup here just gets me 
so excited. Like I love seeing the drugstore and the more affordable brands bring out such cool products. I am so excited to dip into these. So I will definitely do a video testing them out. I'll have individual reviews on some things. Let me know in the comments below what you are most excited to see in action. As I said, if you want to check out my other drugstore hauls, I will leave them down in the description box. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And if you're new, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do so many videos with drugstore products, so if that is your thing, then you should enjoy it here. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with my croaky, sick voice, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.